Hey guys, this video is actually about my new Leo, but first I just want to tell you, we just had a huge ass rain like half an hour ago, and it finished like half an hour ago, and I just want to show you this because it's pretty crazy. There's at least 20 gallons all together in here. Now this is our yard set, and we went to Denver just last week. Um, we did put our cover on, and just this one rain made it about a foot deep in each and so actually each of these are around 10 gallons so that's probably like 30 gallons of water so I just thought I'd show you that because that's kind of cool but anyway this video is about my new leopard gecko um I got this leopard gecko by through my friend Shane um he was giving me his leopard gecko because he was getting out of Leo's and so I took one and for he gave me it for like 30 bucks I think 20 actually I think but um this is Blackie I'm gonna rename her but and the reason her name's Blackie is because you will know in a second is because it's super weird because this is a blizzard leopard gecko he has had her had trouble making her letting her eat so she does have a bit of a skinny tail it's not too bad and so hopefully with me she will do a little better now. Oops. You got all messed up. But yeah, she's a full grown female. And she's a blizzard. The nice pure back black eyes. So Blackie is the third in my collection of Gobi and Baja and Blackie. So that is my new leopard gecko. Um Blackie is actually even a little smaller than Baja. She's a pretty small gecko. Her actual waist stomach is fatter, but her actual length is shorter so she's pretty small but yeah um just in a it's a 15 quart it works just fine it's actually has a bigger floor area than a 16 because the 16 is higher um i just put just spilt the water i'll clean that up but yeah it's just a simple enclosure two hides a water dish and that's a, a calcium dish and a thermometer already gotten to the calcium only had it for about two hours but yeah, that is Blackie the Leopard Gecko. Also, I just thought I'd tell you, um, Blackie's in the top of the rack system, and she might live with Baja depending on how they act together because they are both females. Um, we'll see. But for now, she's going to live in here. I got a heating pad um, that I got for my sister's tarantula because she actually didn't need it for her tarantula. So she gave it to me. Now this... I'm going to show you her tarantula and her enclosure. Um, it's actually a 5.5 gallon tank with um, some, what's it called? Uh, something bedding. I can't remember what it is. But um, Eco Earth, that's it. And it's got a warm side hide, a cool side hide, um, and a water dish, and thermometer and stuff. Um, it is a Mexican red knee tarantula. It's, I we think it's a male because it's already... It's only three months old and it's pretty big. It's not fully grown yet, but it might be. A it's probably a female, if anything. But occasionally you'll get a male. So, but yeah, it's Mexican red knee. It's kind of against the glass, sorta. Of, but most of the time it's been on the ground. It's just sort of on the side right now. But it's a simple enclosure. No special heating because this room stays at a nice warm temperature. So yeah, that's it. Um, maybe some herping videos coming up. I'm not sure. My friend's getting a ball python. Thon, hopefully sometime soonish. I don't know when we'll get it. But yeah.